Hi, this is Dr. Linda Shell of lindashell.com. When our normal routine is disrupted, as in times of crisis or immense change, it's easy to be hesitant to act, try to personally fix problems, get lost in the issues, and seek short-term solutions that don't address the new reality. These challenges have appeared for many leaders during the current COVID-19 pandemic. Such challenges are not new to leaders in healthcare. We will lead and learn through this crisis, just as we've led through other regulatory, reimbursement, and workforce challenges. Here are three things you can do to effectively lead. Be bold, play the long game, and make time for thankfulness. First, be bold. Fear can paralyze leaders. It can stall required actions to address the crisis. When you don't know what to do, identify multiple options, get input from your team, and seek wise counsel from other leaders. Once you have that information, you can build plans, communicate, and empower your teams. Then act, adjusting as required. An example of being bold may be the actions you have taken to address challenges with workforce shortages. You've had to take bold steps toward innovative staffing models and pay incentives for recruiting and retaining staff. Next, play the long game. No crisis lasts forever, but it's important to plan for the long-term effect. How will your learnings during this time impact your leadership, team members, and organization? What new skills will be learned? Short-term responses are required, but long-term plans will set the stage to build and sustain the new reality. The workforce crisis forced organizations to develop new strategies for how they recruit, hire, and retain staff, playing the long game rather than the short one. Don't come out of any crisis without a long-term plan that will prepare for future crisis. And finally, make time for thankfulness. Ancient wisdom reminds us, in all things, give thanks. Even in the depths of crisis, there is always time to reflect and be thankful. During past workforce shortages, you may have found ways to encourage and uplift staff by saying thanks and showing appreciation. Take time away from the crisis and mentally make a list of what you are thankful for. Send a brief note of thanks via email or text to someone that needs a boost of appreciation. You will be a better leader and your teams will see the difference in you. As I've mentioned before, there is no playbook for leaders to follow during these times. When all the world around us feels out of control, leaders must practice self-leadership. Being confident in your process, plans, and execution will inspire those you lead. Ask yourself, when all of this is passed, and it will, what will be your legacy? How did you positively influence and lead others during such a crucial time? By remembering to start with these simple steps, you'll not only pursue better outcomes from the crisis, but can also bring new life to those you lead. Mm -hmm.